We are outside of the Los Feliz murder house. Police say Dr. Harold Perlson brutally killed his wife and tried to kill his teenage daughter. What the? What, what, was, what was, that? was that? What was that? <gasps> what was that? Yes. Get out. Oh, 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 this video is brought to you by Factor. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. Their team of gourmet chefs create each meal using only ingredients with integrity to help you feel your best all day long. Factor is now owned by HelloFresh with a wider array of meals to choose from. I love switching between brands and now you guys get to enjoy both brands at a discount with me. Factor helps you avoid takeout and ordering in with delicious and nutritious, no-nonsense food delivered quickly. Factor's chef-prepped meals make it easy to eat well so you never have to opt out for something that's not good for you. Meals arrive pre-prepared and ready to eat in two minutes. Factor provides fuel for my body and mind and saves me so much time during my busy schedule. Head over to factor75.com or click the link down below and use code KELSEY50 for 50% off your first Factor box. That's factor75.com and use code KELSEY50 for 50% off. Ah! Now let's get into the video. It still remains a mystery as to what happened that night of the murder and the years following it. Police say Dr. Harold Perlson brutally killed his wife and tried to kill his teenage daughter. Dr. Harold Perlson was a heart surgeon, a professor of cardiology, and something way more sinister. On December 6, 1959, something horrifying happened in this LA mansion. At around 5 a.m., one of Harold's children, Judy, woke up with her head throbbing and bleeding. When she looked up, she saw her father standing over her with a ball-peen hammer in his hand. In terror, she yelled and fought him off, breaking free and making her way outside to a neighbor's home where they called the police. Her younger siblings, Joel and Debbie, woke up from the screams, and as they tried to see what was happening, Harold said, Go back to bed. This is a nightmare. The two ran out of the home in fear. They made it out, but unfortunately their mother, Lillian Perelson, was already deceased. Harold had killed her in a rageful way in her sleep. When the police finally arrived, Harold's corpse was in the home after he had unalived himself. It's still unclear what sparked so much rage in Harold and why he committed such a horrible crime. The house remains empty, nicknamed the Murder Mansion. However, many people believe that due to these past events, the mansion is haunted by those who died there, and that Harold's soul is still angry, looking for his next victim. We are outside of the Los Feliz murder house and I am here with Veronica and Liz. I'm also here with Mackenzie Marie Hi guys. and Cameron. So we're being really quiet because this place has been abandoned I'm for my time. <gasps> <I'm taking> my time. <laughs> this thing, okay, I'll tell you what it said in a minute. We're close to the house. We're right outside of the room where the woman was murdered and the energy from the house just emanates like over this way it's so weird we're all feeling things we're all hearing weird things this said knocking what the heck that was a kid that just screamed figure what? okay it said scream? knocking it said we are family don't go the kids all survived though but there was two deaths in this house and it's been abandoned ever since this house has been vacant since the 50s. People have owned it, but nobody has physically lived in this house. I think it was the Enriquez family. It was What's like Mr. and Mr. Mr. Oh. and Mrs. Enriquez. And they never lived in the house. They used it for storage. They did have cats. They would just come over here and feed them. They just never lived in here. Like, yeah. That's so like weird. So they you used, own, used it. Yeah, you own the house, but you never live in it. Like, yeah. That's and this was know. after the murders what happened, was that? right? What was that? It, something's coming up. I heard something's that. coming up. Yeah, what do you mean? Up. <laughs> <laughs> she, Liz is freaking out. No, she heard something in the bush. Yeah, it was over here. Do you hear the grandfather clock? Yeah. It's like, dong, dong. <gasps> Vecna. <gasps> Vecna. <laughs> All right. Don't provoke us. Yep. Don't provoke us. Yep. There's okay, so I saw someone walk out of that back door into the yard, and Liz heard 
something but I didn't know that you heard that the, the, out this back door right out the back door that's mm -hmm. where I saw someone walk out I don't know if it's the same spirit but there's someone here checking on us to see what we're doing here yeah and then it said don't provoke us which is weird mm -hmm. what do you think it was I don't know okay so as we were in the backyard it's a little sketchy being there because there are neighbors around and like you know it's an abandoned place we were staying away from the house but we were walking up these stairs to go back out and there's some barbed wire on the side and it's like razor barbed wire and all of a sudden Veronica was like oh my god I got poked I got poked we were like oh no like we thought it was you know little and we look guys she got poked I'm oh okay gosh. though I'm no, okay she is a trooper <laughs> guys Oh, but we looked at it and it, it's not bleeding anymore. You're feeling okay though? Yes, yes. Okay. We want to make sure. To the others. That was insane. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely insane. I know when I like she came up there. to me and Mackenzie and she was like, I got poked. We were just like, oh shoot, we, let's look at it. It was, there was blood everywhere. Dripping. Yeah, everywhere. it was literally there was a puddle. Drip, 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 and it was all over the floor. No, we thought it was a lot worse than we looked at the w initial wound and it's so tiny and it stopped bleeding. That it big. was like this big. Mm -hmm. Veronica, you said you felt felt like someone was pulling your leg. I felt like I just could not move my leg. For as much as I was trying to climb, I, it felt like my leg, it, it felt like, like there was like a concrete balance. block on yeah. the leg. Like wow. I couldn't move it. It was like someone was trying to hold her back. And on the box on your phone, it said, don't, don't go. go. But the crazy thing about it all is all of us had trouble getting out. Yeah, all of us it was hard trouble. to get up. Like we were walking up these steps and we were all just having a lot of trouble trying to leave. Like it was weird. Yeah. It was like the house didn't want us to go. Something wants us to be there. And yeah, then it said, definitely. we are family. I think there's something dark there. I think that there's something like besides the people who died there that's also there. There was just a weird energy and we were just getting tripped out by the neighbors. So we're gonna try to go around the front and see if we can get anything, but we just wanna make sure Veronica's okay first because I was like, we can go on, you know, another day. She goes, no, I got this. <laughs> I'm a trooper, y'all. She's like, I'm a trooper. Anything for spooky this. stuff. Oh my anything God. For it. Guys, make sure you go follow Veronica. <laughs> Thank you. We go through. A the lot struggle is going real. to places like this. Oh. I cannot believe how <laughs> like you much can it, see it. Yeah, you can see the little hole. That's how oh, big that it is. Oh. Yeah, the tiny hole is how big her wound was. It Does it hurt? Are you like it doesn't hurt? It doesn't hurt me. Okay. I don't even feel it anymore. I just feel shaky from like yeah, of course. the actual incident, but I'm okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm okay. Las <laughs> Feliz <laughs> <laughs> Murder House. <laughs> So this is the house and it's currently, well, this does not look updated. I'm confused. Oh, these are their plans. That's what, That's what they're going to turn it into. Oh. I was like, it does not look like that. They're going to have a gym, a pool, and a spa. What? Let's buy it. Let's buy it. We turn it into like one of those big, This like, is Virgin houses. Mary. Virgin Mary. What was that? The heck was that? Liz just took this picture and you see that big orb? Yeah, that, some, what was that? It's not like someone was like walking down the driveway. Someone is right from the orb I just saw. So I have a few um, REM pods set up and one of them went, this one went to purple. And it was go. You guys saw that, right? Yes. Like, it was singing for like a long time. Yeah. And then yeah, we called Mackenzie, and then as soon as she came, it stopped. Yeah. I literally, as soon as Mackenzie walks up, it goes bloop, just stops. Yeah. If there's any spirits here that want to come forward and come touch our devices, <gasps> that sounded like the garage. It was a tap on the garage door, right? Yeah. I heard that. That was so there loud. Was who is here with us? Can yeah, any of you touch you the one. devices and let me know who's here? A good spirit. Oh, good, good, good. So is this the wife? I do feel a more feminine energy. I'm gonna use the Spirit Box app. If you guys want this app, the link is down below in the description. Just be safe while you're using it. Dad. That's a dad. That totally said dad. The first thing I thought was like the daughter being, or the sons, or one of them being Someone like dad. Someone said dad. 
That was weird. Do you want to come sit with us and yes, do the session? I, I need to do like a little of course. Do you want light? Oh, we have light. You got light. Okay, yeah, go ahead. I'll wait. But then I'm gonna like jump in. I'll wait, wait for you. It said like friendly spirit, right? Yeah. And then yeah. it was like dad. I wonder if they like want to say something to their dad because the dad did commit suicide here. He did. <gasps> oh, yes! yes! Oh wait, that's Cameron. I didn't move though. No, wait, you were standing there the whole time? I, I did His not move my foot. Was, it was right His there. It was exactly the way it is right now. Oh, did you see that? Oh, that was weird then. Yeah, actually yeah. if it was getting your foot... Like when I stood, stood up even close to it, it didn't go off. I think I did put a lower range on it too. Yeah, you just record me and then I'll just. Yeah, it. no. No, it's not. It wasn't him. Look at him. <laughs> Cameron, just start tap dancing. Like, there, look, that is him. Yeah, that Whoa. Uh, wonder if who we're talking to right now or if it's the wife trying to come through. Yeah. Whoa. It was someone who had something to do with this house. That is confirmed. Are you guys ready? Yeah, let's do yes. it. Maybe we can ask about your leg too if someone <gasps> yes. like was trying to yes. stop you from leaving. Yes, yes, I want to know. Okay, let's see what happened. I did too. What was that? It was behind the fence. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is crazy. What is he? <laughs> Get out. I hear that. That, that was sounded like a man. Time. That sounded like Did a man. Did we hear that in the back? Get out. I heard, I heard hide. We, okay. we hide, got hide, hide on that hide. one. Okay. Yeah. I have like a pain right here. In your side. Yes. Oh okay, yes. so I'm going to go this way. The, the, the crime. The crime. I heard it. That was so clear. Can you tell us a little bit more about the crime? I heard running out. I heard running out. <laughs> 18? Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. she, I heard that. she was 18. Oh my gosh, Judy was, Judy was 18. Judy was 18. Judy was 18 years old when he hit her. When she ran out. Oh, wow. This is blowing my is mind. Is it okay that we're here right now? Let me out. Let me out in this daddy again. Let me out. And daddy again. In your video. Let me out. Is in my video. I heard curse. Curse. Is the land cursed? The Spaniards gave it to a Spanish woman. The original owners of the home. They were Spanish. So the original the owners of the okay. land uh, were yes. Spanish. Yes. That was a full sentence. That was a full sentence. Is this land cursed? Yeah, that was yeah. so clear. Oh my gosh. That was so clear. Is that why she got hurt? Did someone try to pull her back? Yes. Oh my gosh. What, what the, the f f was that? Who's that? I've, I've never heard never it do that before. Do that. Again, family, again. Family, family, family. Oh, this is the father. This, this is, is the, the father. Name. Can you explain to us why you decided to take your wife's life? I keep seeing like this man with an entity with him, like attached to him. And it's like he was feeding it all this energy. It's like this entity was like him. What if there's this entity being him right now? Even being him. Even you know in the mean? afterlife? Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's what I'm feeling right now. I don't know. It's like it's a weird energy. Is there something demonic in this house? It just got so quiet. <laughs> oh, it does. So quiet. <laughs> Who is talking right now? One. 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 What was that? What was that? That was. What was that? I, that was. <sighs> but that is that the same sounded lady. Like tongues, or I don't know Spanish, I've but that sounded like tongues like to me. But is that is that the same lady that we heard before? Oh my gosh. What the? F this is like doing things that it's never done before. I think we should move the REM pods. Yeah. I think we should move them farther out a little bit. Yeah, like back there. Yes. I was thinking that yes. too. Okay, let me do that. I felt like this is after the fact. What do you mean? <laughs> like, like, whatever happened here, I feel like it happened like 
after the murder took place. Like people who came here broke into the house and they were like, you know what, hey, let's do some stupid shit. I think there's a lot that was summoned here. Like I feel a lot of dark energy. I keep getting a vision of a portal too, but it's a dark portal. I'll have portals that are lighter, you know, but this portal has so many dark shadows coming out of it that I keep seeing and it's tripping me out. Like a demonic portal was opened by someone in this house. Yeah, they're all around and I can, I, I'm on my life from the big tip of my toes. I want to cry. You I feel what? like I want to cry right now. Really? Yeah. When the lady was talking, that long sentence, that's how I felt. Like, just overwhelmed. Yeah. I yeah. Feel, there, somebody's here. Yeah. But, um, so, so okay. they also know how to use these and they're not going to. Whatever it is that, that, that I'm oh, feeling right now, I don't know whose energy it is, but they're not going to, to touch anything. Do it's, you have like an inkling on where we should put them? No. Uh, you just feel like they're... I really feel like about like, like just eyes. That's what I feel right now. Like they're watching yes. us. I, I, I can't stop getting chills. I don't know what it is, but it knows not to use that. It knows how to and it's not going to. I think if we set some boundaries and kind of really mm -hmm. talk to them, um, maybe they'll decide to. Earlier asked, what's your name? and I never responded because we were trying to like be quiet. Mm -hmm. um, my name is Kelsey. I'm Veronica. I'm Mackenzie. I'm Cameron. And I'm Liz. And we are here with the utmost respect. Mm -hmm. We are here to reach out to any spirits or entities that would like to come forward to us. You're more than welcome to touch one of those devices over there. I know that there's someone lurking. We see you, we feel you. You're allowed to come forward, I hope you know that, but you're not allowed to harm us in any way. Do you want to go as far as to say as like, we're only going to be talking to positive spirits only, or do you, do you just want to be like, we want to know what the f is here? I think that there's mainly negative here mm -hmm. that I don't think anything would come through, you know? Like, um, yeah. you know what I mean? I feel like in the back of the house was a warning Mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. the wife herself. I think so and too. Definitely. I think the warning for what's going on right now mm -hmm. yeah. is like she's aware of that and she's like, hide. Yeah, definitely. I think that if we just start talking and we can just see who comes through, you know, um, if anyone wants to come forward, we're gonna give you a way to communicate to come through. We just ask that you don't touch any of us and you respect our boundaries and you respect our space. And we will do the same with you. If yes. you want us to leave, we will. What are you? Are you a spirit? Are you an entity? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't, it's like it's his own, his own demon we that he created. Theory, which is a theory that they say that he possibly was in the occult or he was doing something and because right. it's, it's odd that like he wakes up at 4.30 and just does this like at 4.30 in the morning. In the book that he was Two reading weeks too. before Christmas. Mm -hmm. What was the book he was reading? Dante's, Dante's Inferno. Inferno. Dante's Inferno. Yeah, and it said that whenever they found his body that the book Dante's was Inferno was next to his body. Yeah. Yeah. So wow. was he studying it? Was he, you know, conjuring did something? something? Did something tell him? You know, like did something draw him to yeah. the book to where he like would want to be so interested and it just overcome him? Let's see. I heard that so loud. I had a pain right here. Like something was just pushing on me. Okay. So you said you're not allowed to, you know, like come to our space, yeah. whatever. Like our boundary is our boundary. Yeah. And it, like, I don't have it anymore. Right. Yeah. I don't have that pain anymore. Wow. So whatever you said, yeah. I feel like it, like, shielded me. Wow. Yes. yes. Yeah. You always have to set your boundaries, otherwise spirits won't know, and they'll just they'll show you things. Even if they mean well, like sometimes it'll just be too much for us to handle. Is there anything you want to ask specific? Um, you always have good questions. Mackenzie always has good questions. <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, let's I always get look to at my cat. Was Dr. Harold influenced by an external entity? Why is it so quiet?
Why is it whenever you walk around asking questions? It's because your questions are compelling. Two things. I've never heard it go silent as many times as it has. I've yeah. never heard it make like whatever so noises those noises. are. No, it's I've been never heard it do that. A lot of Consistently. Them. Ever, ever, ever. ever. And then you know what? The REM pod's going off purple, purple, mm -hmm. yeah. purple. I run over, it's like, no, it stops. Yes. And we moved them and nothing. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, now nothing. Well, and Liz was like, they don't want to play. I feel I, that I, too. I, I feel they, like they know. Yeah, they, they know what we're, they don't want to satisfy us. What's his name? Dr. Harold is his Dr. name. Dr. Harold Harrelson, yes. That just said hi. That was weird. Okay, did Dr. Harrelson create his own demon? Something was here that was a part of this land, right? Yeah. And there was a negative entity. Is there somebody walking over there? I, I heard like, like who? It just I said me. It just said me. She was like, is there somebody? Yeah, I saw a shadow over it's there. I heard, I heard who? I saw a shadow in That's that light. That's why I turned this off. I thought there was a man gonna come over here. I, I saw a shadow over there. Who is that walking up to the house? So weird because I'm not connecting with anyone. It's just like they, I don't know, it's weird. There was something like demonic feeding off of this man, like a leech. That's what it I has feel. To be, yes, definitely. And it said behind when I asked, and like every time I see it in my vision, it's behind him, lingering with him, and it so looks like him. I feel definitely. like he made it. I feel like he fed it. It was like this thing that fed off of his. I don't know. I think he his would misery. And I think he would drink a lot. I feel that from him and like drinking lowers your vibration mm -hmm. so much especially when you're in like you know such a negative energy it can increase that and it could allow entities to take over when i was just at the mist paw like i'm pretty well protected you know i'm pretty like experienced but i did drunk ghost hunting at the mist paw and something came through and channeled through me and my voice changed and it was like get out really really aggressive and i didn't do that but i was drinking Get out! Oh my god, I hated Jesus that. Oh my god. Christ. And like it lowered my vibrations to the point where something took over me. So I think that if this man was in that energy all the time, why wouldn't he be able to feed this negative thing with him? Absolutely. You it's know what I you're mean? Vulnerable in that aspect. You know, yeah. you're not really yourself. Like I think this. I think he definitely chose what. Like I think he's re fully responsible for everything he did. But I think this thing influenced him in a lot of energy way yeah. type of way. You know what I mean? Where was it? Where he was like, you know what? I think I'm just gonna smash my wife's brain in with a hammer right now. So like how do anger. you get to that point? Yeah, exactly. At 4 a.m. Like, At 4 unless he was up drinking, maybe, he, I don't know. If he was asleep, how does he just wake up? And like do oh, that. I'm gonna do this. Like I almost feel like he was already awake that uh, night. Ned never went been. to sleep. His intent was to kill the family. Yeah, absolutely. Family. I, I just got agree. the chills. I think that's confirmation. I would agree. <laughs> like his intent was just to get rid of everyone and then himself. Yeah. So the question is why? Right. Why would you want to do this? It's a kill. kill him. I almost feel like he thinks he was doing her a favor. Like a cop? In like a really sadistic way, I feel like he thinks he was doing her a favor. Were you trying to help your family? Did you think by... What? That, what? Lillian, if you're here, would you like to communicate? I heard Lily. I heard, yeah, I heard Did Lily. they call her Lily? Could have been. Could have. Would you rather us call you Lily? Threat. Was there like some sort of threat? Uh, Lily. Did you coming to us? Did you turn it on? Just okay. kidding. There you go. Just kidding. <laughs> I've done that, so I'm like, I, I understand. <laughs> it is on, everybody. Oh, 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 oh look, oh, it's going someone's here. Highway. It says highway. Is this Lily? Can you tell us who's with us right now? I feel a strong female presence. Lily, is that you that I'm connecting with right now? Did Lily have dark hair? Uh, yes. Yes, she did. There's a woman here yes, with like, she had dark hair. What the? She's smaller? Very petite, yes. Oh my gosh. Very petite. I think Lily's here. Threat. You're, it's threat. a threat. It's I a threat. threat. Maybe oh, she wow. felt threatened in a lot of ways and still does. I think she's stuck warning? here. Did that say warning? 
I feel like she's kind of stuck here as if, and he's here too, like she feels Maybe threatened. Go over there. Can you tell us and explain what happened the bad night? What night was it? Strange. December 6th. And look. Yeah. And look, that one's right. going off. to know what we're doing here. It's asking me what we're doing here. We're just here to give you a voice. I don't know if you need help. Get out. Did that say Harold? And then it's like, Dude, I don't know. That was something. Is it weird to say I feel like she's being controlled by Harold because I feel that way like so much? I'm trying to kind of let her know what's happened and she's kind of defending him. Why would you be defending him? I think she's confused. Prayer. And then look, it's, it went all the way up. Husband. Fear. Someone's watching. Lily, were you planning on leaving your husband? No. That was weird. Did you hear me say no? I didn't even mean to say that. That's weird. Is that weird? See? Do you think that it's possible that he might have killed other people? Because he was a doctor, right? Mm -hmm. I think there were a lot of secrets. That's what it feels like. It feels like she's covering up a lot of shit because of her husband to protect him. I think there's a lot of secrets and a lot of things that she put up with that like she just let him do and get away with because she was trying like what you said. Yeah. I think she's so mentally abused that she was like making excuses for this, her husband. Like aside from having like financial troubles because I mean that was said. Yeah, yeah, that's the only thing. Yeah. yeah. I think there was a lot more going Ghost. on and a lot more secrets. Absolutely. I just keep hearing secrets. I understand you. So that is the stairwell inside that. Where does that go to? That goes up to the, the top. The, is that the bar? I'm going to assume that that's the stairs that the daughter ran down. What is that? Coyote? That's a coyote. How did you get up there? <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, how did you get it? Yeah, he's trespassing, guys. You're trespassing, Mr. Coyote. I wonder if he hears anything or something. Mm -hmm.